Hey again, this is Kevin Phillips, and in this very short little tip, what I want to do is show you how I use the Access Translate tool. Uh, we can see here we've got Access Translate, it's on the Modify tab, and what I've done is I've modeled a high poly version of this little element here. And what this element here is, and I'll just switch the layers to show you, is basically a little stay, a little plastic clip that sits over these two wires with plugs on each end. And this is a uh, old cable from an 80s style uh, computer. And what you'd do is you'd have two cables, one for the headphones and one for the microphone, which you'd use for saving and loading software from cassettes. And yes, we did use cassettes back in the 80s. Uh, be surprised how many people go, really? Whenever I tell them this, but uh, you had to be there to, uh, to see it, obviously. So to prevent these wires from splitting and ending up with like two separate wires and then you lose one, what they would do is they'd place these uh, plastic clips or, or basically molding over the top of the wire so it would only split so far and wouldn't split from here to here and they'd keep them together. So what I needed to do was I needed this high poly one in case I was going to be uh, basically rendering close-ups. Now. The plugs aren't too bad, they've got enough polys in, but these are a little low poly, and I didn't really model them for sub-patching, which might have been a better idea, but uh, for now, what I'm going to do is I want to place this here, so I want to place it in exactly the same location. Now I could use the move tool and I could kind of position it up, which is fine, but if I want to be more exact, what I'm going to do is use this tool in here, the Axis Translate tool, and what this lets us do is move the selected elements such as uh, in this case got nothing selected so it's going to pick everything okay in this case this is an object and you can see as we move the mouse around we get over the center it says object center and it also sees the background geometry now you notice that uh, it's got an object center here too even though it's a whole layer here um, the reason for that is of course these are separate pieces they're not uh, actually part of the same uh, geometry they're not joined together so that's why we have these dots everywhere because this is the center of each of these items in that background layer so I just need to position this right here easy we move our mouse till it says object center we left click and we drag a line until we get to the other one and then we let go and perfect exact lineup as you'd expect now, unless you have already seen it, um, I'll also show you, I'll get a copy of this. Okay, let's uh, paste it. Okay, so now I've got a, a copy of this. Let's go here and uh, let's move it. And get it right down near the end there. Now let's rotate that a little, like so. Okay, you've probably seen this if you looked at some of my other videos uh, where I showed you the align tool, but I thought while I'm doing this little tip on Access Translate, I'll just do the other one at the same time. And we do it pretty much the same kind of way. We've got our object, and I'm going to select it because we have two items sitting in this layer, obviously, there and there. So let's select it first. Okay, and then let's go and use under more, align, align, and in here we're going to take this normal or this thing and we're going to align it to this one. So let's uh, just make sure we get the right one, like that. Okay, let's uh, just line it up, done, and then let's just drag it down to there. Push return. And we're done. So that is the Access Translate, which is fine when you've got things that are lined up exactly the same. And that one there is the Align tool, which you'll find under Translate, Align, Align. 